Most people associate sweet foods with sugar spikes. It's intuitive, so avoiding added sugar is standard practice for the health-conscious consumer. What sometimes flies under the radar are the foods that are not actually sweet, but full of sugar. We typically describe these as starches, and they make up a big part of the human diet. They include bread, rice, pasta, and potatoes. Now, the reason they're not sweet to taste is the gazillion glucose molecules contained in each mouthful are tied up. In this form, the glucose molecules cannot lock onto the sugar taste receptors in the mouth. They're just too big. But they don't stay big for long, since they dust in alpha salivary amylase while in the mouth. Just how much depends on your genes, as well as how good a chew they're exposed to, and what you consume with your starches. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we look at what you should consume with those starches if you want to minimize sugar spikes. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. You see, what happens in your mouth is just the beginning. Starch digestion is ongoing. And for the most part, salivary amylase only gets down to work inside the stomach. But, but it does have to work quickly. You see, salivary amylase is sensitive to acid as soon as the pH drops below 3.5, and it does. A stomach in the midst of digesting is pushing pH levels of 2. Ouch! The salivary amylase simply gives up the ghost under those conditions. Now, to get that low requires the stomach acid pumps to be pumping protons full steam for approximately 90 minutes, which is good news for salivary amylase because under normal circumstances, he has an hour or so to do the starch and oligosaccharide digestion. This is enough time to break the back of starch digestion. In fact, 25 to 85 percent of the starch and 15 to 50 percent of the oligosaccharides are digested releasing their sugar load into the intestine. And from here, the sugars are absorbed, proceeding to the liver for assimilation, which mm, can be quite a challenge. <laughs> too much, too fast is hard to handle. Now, for the metabolically healthy, it's hard to handle, but it is not a train smash. Insulin comes to the rescue. For the metabolically challenged, it's a sugar spike of gargantuan proportions. And the longer it, this persists, the more damaging. So, mm, it might be quite helpful to put a thorn in the side of that salivary amylase. Something that is not too difficult to do. The secret? shift that pH down fast. This is what a team of French researchers pieced together. Using an artificial stomach, with a little help from human saliva, the team demonstrated that dropping the pH early effectively put the digestion of the starch on hold. Now, this is not a new concept. Dozens of studies have demonstrated the benefits of vinegar as a supplement to lower the glycemic index of food. What makes this study notable is it explains some of the biology and provides you with many more options to lower the glycemic index of any starchy meal. What you want to do is make it a little acid. How you do it doesn't matter. Common strategies include sourdough bread, a vinegar dressing, a glass of wine, a tomato-based sauce on the pasta, or a glass of Coke or some other acidic beverage. 
The point is to get enough acid in at the start of the meal to send the salivary amylase running for cover. The researchers calculate that a 50 gram serving of ordinary bread, that would be approximately two, two slices, would need 58 milliliters of lemon juice. It'll sting a bit, but it is doable. Experiment to see what works for you. Of course, it goes without saying. Don't use an antacid just before dinner. If you actively suppress acid production, you give the salivary amylase an opportunity to completely digest that starchy meal, dumping a lot more sugar into your circulation quickly. Use the acid advantage to create better body chemistry and better health. For more tips and strategies to keep sugar spikes in check, employ the Candy Floss system. Download our free Willpower Report to get started and begin the journey today to better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who likes bread and potatoes but is metabolically challenged? Share this video with them so they know that stinging the amylase enzyme can buy them the time they need to better handle those starches. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference 